I do it to my own kids, I'm going to do it to you too. Praise God. And I just want to let y'all know that we have, I love you. I love our people. I love the stuff that I do. But I believe God called me in this time. And God said never because all of us got a little history. Now I want to bring my friend, you know, Brother Mike, you know, to uh, this, uh, Mike. Come on, Mike. Oh, man. They got a happy heart, but check it out. First of all, I'm going to give honor to God, right? Because I know I'm nothing but honor, right? But check it out. They're in black and white, man. But y'all know me in the street of Uncle Mike, man. Y'all know me. It's one thing I never thought, man, that nobody in my family would die in the streets like that, man. Tonight, for being himself, man. Everybody know we over here, my son. You know what I'm saying? For him to get up taken out like that, man. Yo, come on, man. No, man. For what? Because he didn't like somebody. Just like you said, the pastor was saying, people are out of place, man. They're out of place. You know what I'm saying? And like, like, say, example, like, for one, when I was coming up, everything was in place. Like, we talk with streets. I can't talk black and white, man. I gotta talk streets, man, because for one thing, this is what happened. It happened in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all just look at me as Uncle Mike. That's all. That's all I'm saying, man. Uncle Mike, man. You know what I'm saying? But take it out. Wow, oh, man, in the streets, man, in the streets, man. Wow, not my, not my family, man. So we were the peacemakers. We, we was like the other side. We're, we're helping people. Yo, no, man. Yo, you all right with the verses, man? Ain't nothing gonna happen to you, man, because you all right with the verses, man. That's how, that's how we did, man. We was the peacemakers. We had a fight because we were so many of us, man. You know what I'm saying? We're affiliated with so many people, man. Love, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's missing, man. Keep communication. All, all, all I gotta do is talk, man. Why don't we can't talk, man. What's the matter, man? We can talk like uh, uh, the ebonic stuff too, same thing. We can talk, man. Why we just can't talk? That's how my son got killed. Lack of communication, man. And he talking his son stuff. Like I said, I'm talking streets talk. You talking to y'all talking to son, 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 son. But son don't mean that, man. Son mean cause he's shy, man. You know what I'm saying, son? Cause not son, cause you're mine, man. Son, cause you're shy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what son mean. You know what I'm saying? To the streets. You know what I'm saying? That's where my son was. Y'all know, man. He, everybody loves him, man. But like I said, I believe one thing, though. I believe a blessing's gonna come up out of this, man. Y'all ain't no killers like that no more. The streets not like that, man. Wow, man. For where? What? For what, man? What he do, man? He ain't do nothing, man. For being a royal man, loyal to everybody, man. Let's go out like that for what? Come on, man. It's like I said, I'm sorry for the people that, that, that got killed in the street before. And I, I couldn't be there and do something, man. That's what I'm saying for too. If his mother's here, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry as a father because I couldn't protect him, man. You know what I'm saying? Make him safe. I'm sorry, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, and something gonna come up out of this, man. Some blessing, some good, something come, come up out of this, man. Yo, no more killers like that. Not like that, man. Come on, man. Not like that, man. Cause I, cause I hate, hate cause I'm hating, man. Not, not cause I did something to you. Just because you, you, you look too cool, man. That's all it is, man. And you can't, do, you can't do that to him. You know, that's how he got killed, man, for that, man. This is a conversation, man. And all, all it needs is a conversation, man. That's all it was. That's what it is, 20 and under. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it all, everything, man. I call them man childs, man. That's what I call them, man child. You know what I'm saying? Something in the way. Same with these young girls, too. Something in the way, man. We got to do something about that, man, for real. And all these young boys walking around in pants, falling and all of that. Let's come on, let's call it, man. We used to wear suits and be fly, man. And all these girls, right? Here, them, them girls, y'all girls can make them do that, man. Y'all can make them girls, y'all can make these guys pick these pants up, man, for real, man. You know what I'm saying? Young brothers, man. These young brothers messed up, man. They ain't messed up. We, we messed up, man. They got nothing, man. When I was coming up, we had community, everything. Every, we was family. When you, you say about somebody else, we say, this is families. This is families, man. Don't mess with this, man. Because this is families. That's how we used to come at brothers, man. Not this, oh, son, son. You, you, you do what I say, do. Oh, later for you and all that. We, we didn't come up like that, man. We said families. That's how, that's how we grow. That's how I got to be old the age I am right now. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying like that, man. And I'm telling you one more thing, too. Like I said, I'm talking for the street. They're talking this tribe thing. Right? 
tribe. Let me tell you what tribe mean, man. Tribe mean true, righteous, intelligent brothers, educated, black women and men, man. Y'all wanna know, y'all never knew that. You know what I'm saying? But that's what that means, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand that. That was the tribe. It wasn't about what everybody named the ghetto and all that. It, 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 we're talking about true, righteous, intelligent brothers, educated, black women and men, man. That's what that was about. Not going around killing, take yo, hiding behind a gun, and think that's gonna do something, man. Because you're destroying everybody's life, man. You know what I'm saying? One blood. That's what it is. One blood, man. Ain't, ain't no other way, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry it happened to my family, but something gonna be done about this, and somebody gonna come bless the about this, man. Peace and blessings, man. And I'm incredibly angry. I'm in pain because that was my family. And I'm angry because I don't believe that there's no way that we can stop these guns from coming in our community. It happened in the suburbs. When you talk to the police, they said there's no nothing we can do about it. There's something you can do about it if you really wanted to. So that's why I'm so angry. But I think if we come together as a community, we can demand that our officials do their job. And their job is not to just walk around harassing and arresting people. This is the community. They have a job to do to keep people safe in this community. And we need to come together as a community and demand that that happens before we lose another life. Like Mike said, we all grew up as family. I may not be their blood, but I'm their family. And that's what all of us should be, family. We have to learn how to talk about things. We have to stop hating on each other for stupid stuff. Blood spilled in the street for what? All this pain that we're all going to have to endure for what? What do we prove? What did anybody prove by taking these kids' life? Didn't make them a big man. Those are cowards that have to settle everything with a gun. When we were growing up, we didn't have to settle nothing with a gun. We fought and we got up and we went home. The worst ever happened is you might get jumped, but you didn't die. You didn't lose your life as a child. It's crazy. Now all these lies, for what? When are we gonna stop this? I'm gonna tell you, I'm just gonna read you something from what our governor has made a statement about. She said, in the case of persistent dis dangerous offenders, those who repeatedly commit the most serious violent crimes, we are saying quite simply that after the third such offense, you will spend the rest of your life in prison. Make no mistake, these are the governor's words, we will not simply stand by while incorrigible predators kill people. These thugs need to be removed from the street and from society permanently. I'm glad to see so many people came out and a lot of young people came out today. You know, I'm real disappointed to see that I don't see a lot of brothers that I normally see in this area. That's from this area, that know these guys, that know these people, that know who mutilated these boys over nothing. Because what happened out here was senseless. And all week long, and all weekend, all weekend long, I've been sitting around and saying, you know what, so, it's enough is enough. I'm tired of, i just seen these boys in the club, smiling and enjoying themselves. And these boys are dead, but oh, they got a swagger. Well, they, got, they had a style about themselves that the next person didn't like. Hated their selves. It is our fault. If we don't sit around, if we don't sit around and let the person get away, we're mutilating and viciously doing what they did to these boys. And these are some of the same people that are smiling in your face. They smack palms with you. They turn around and kill you. This is some animals type of stuff that happened out here right now. 
Or you think you a thug? You think you was a hard person for what you did? You's a faggot. Got no props from me for what you did. And anybody out here that know what happened out here need to say something. And I ain't never been big on snitching. But telling the truth about the you owe the community. The community, we can't just point that and say the police ain't do this. It's on us too, cause we know. The police don't give a damn. And you know that. When somebody gets shot 20 times, that many bullets can go through and go sound off in this neighborhood in a response and that person can get away. It ain't happening in East Haven. It won't happen in West Haven. I want to know why it's happening here. To make sure it don't happen again. Until it's my turn. And I promise you I ain't going out like that. And I ain't going to call and say, why such and such? Hey, why they ain't protect me? I'm going to protect me. I'm going to protect my own. And I'm asking for all the brothers that I know, the real brothers, who we, we did the same thing that they doing out here for years. But we, I need you to come out with me and help me protect my kids and your kids and your nephews and your brothers so they don't got to wake up and come out in the middle of the night and get me related. That's what I need. That's what I need. Some real brothers, some real teens to come up and step up and say, you know what? We're going to have a better summer. We're going to have a safe summer. We ain't animals. We deserve better than this. We deserve better than this. And that's my message to the community. Where my real teens at? And it's going to, in order to stop this kind of crime here in this city. My sister's hurting, just like there's a lot of sisters out here are hurting, and brothers out there are hurting. It's time to be loyal to our community. We have babies out here that got to play. We have women that want to walk the streets, and we have brothers who have a right to be here and raise their kids. It's nonsense. But it's, it'll keep on going on. It's time to put our feet down. The baby running down the street. And there's been plenty of them already. It's time to be loyal to our community and our sons and our daughters. My son loves people. He loves talking. He loves laughing. He loves his family on both sides. My last words to my son before I got that call, I called him up and said, "Yo, what's going on? Are you alright? What's your name? My just regular things." It just, I took me a long time to come here today. I've been hearing about wonderful things and the system and support system that you walk in. I am so real, and I truly, to the bottom of my heart, appreciate each and every one of you who loved my son, who touched my son, who, who had anything to do with my son. I really, truly, to the bottom of my heart, appreciate this, this, this support today. And it took me a whole lot to come out here today because I lost my son in a very tragic way. And he did not deserve to go out like that. Because you know what? He lived to love. And he was a God-fearing child, regardless. And me and Michael Burris brought him in this world. And nobody had the right to take him from us. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for coming out and supporting us and our family and God. And this. I just, I thank God that he allowed me to be able to come out here today because this was really a big feat for me. The loved ones, the mothers, the fathers of the kids, and we're, we're, we're going to address some things. But I don't want nobody to leave today 
until we have a message, until we have a prayer, because God has something in store for us today. You don't want nobody to leave, so just continue to be with us as we continue to have a couple of words. At this time, good afternoon, everyone. Um, you know, I'm extremely sorry that we have to come together on an occasion like this. Families that are grieving. How much grieving do we have to do? I need to pose a question to everyone who is here today. And that question is to take a moment to take a moment and search yourself and ask yourself have you been all that you can be in your community? Have you done all that you can do in your community? Your community. We are losing our children, our men at an alarming rate. When do is enough? Are we willing to stand today and say enough is enough? Absolutely senseless. Are you fed up today? Are you fed up today? Well then we ought to be. Fire burning in you to want to change the way that your community is functioning today? Are you willing to change the way that your community is functioning? I'm going to ask you again, are you willing to change the way that your community is functioning to, to stand against everything that is wrong in your community? And I ask each and every one of you today to begin your community when you look out your window and you see things going on that you know shouldn't be going on, then you need to do something about it. Become involved in what's going on in your community. Are your babies worth getting involved in what's going on in your community? I'm going to ask you again. Are your babies worth you getting involved what is going on in your community? You have to be willing to step up in order to save your babies. Not only your babies, but yourself. Because it could be any one of you walking, driving, whatever the case may be, and end up just like any one of these. We are losing our people at an alarming rate. The apostle mentioned earlier today about an urgency of now. Not only is it an urgency of now, but there is an urgency for men to stand. There is an urgency for the family dynamic to stand. There is an urgency for community to stand. When do we say enough is enough? Learn to love yourselves enough to love your brother and your sister. Learn to do that. And most importantly, most importantly people, I believe we all know God in one way or another. Get back to what you know. Get back to what you know. That's it. That's it. When you go in the house at night with your baby, That's it. go down on your knees. Learn to pray with your prayer. That's right. Put God first in your life. That's right. And watch God begin to move in our community. Watch God begin to change your life. Again, I am here, the Christian Community Commission, Brotherhood Leadership Summit. We are here out of love, and we love each and every one of you. But I challenge you today to stand against violence. 